So welcome everyone to AIDA's 2014 conference. As you know, the theme for this year's conference is Science and Traditional Knowledge, Foundations for a Strong Future. A six-year-old child who's because being too well unconscious and has been brought out here so effectively dead. There is a need, an ongoing need, to increase Indigenous doctors across the spectrum of medical professions and increasingly into the specialist workforce. At present, we have 204 Aboriginal doctors, Aboriginal and or Torres Strait Islander doctors in Australia. And we have about 310 medical students. To reach population parity, which is you know, about 3% of the doctor population of Australia, we need 2,895 doctors now, which means we need another 2,691 doctors right now. So this session is an opportunity for colleges to speak about the individual college and its specialty and any other initiative that they think might be good to share with us while they're here today. We've obtained funding for a dedicated Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander um, training position. I think I'm really actually quite fortunate that I don't really have to try to sell it too hard. I think it's kind of an um, attractive specialty already to a lot of doctors, both Indigenous and non-Indigenous. Because what this is about, this Indigenous internship that we've instigated at Royal Melbourne, is access to opportunity. And that's what we're presenting um, to Indigenous doctors and medical students. And I think, you know, the take home message really from listening to all these people is ultimately you have to do what you really enjoy and that's what's going to um, make you, you happy in your life. So. In 2013 we had a record number of graduations so I'm very excited that this evening we will be celebrating 24 new Indigenous doctors. We also um, will be celebrating this evening fellowship for, for seven new fellows within colleges which is very exciting. And I think sometimes we forget how privileged we are in the position that we're um, working in, in no matter what field you're in. But the people that touch you um, in amazing ways um, are, are something that we um, should never forget. For you to be able to work in the way that you need to be able to work, we, need, we do need supportive policy and we need frameworks at national level for health strategy rollout for Aboriginal and Islander people. That is meaningful and useful for us so that we can take it, work within that and make a difference to our mob. And, um, and currently that's really a challenge in a lot of the health systems we work in. If you lose track of who you are and where you're from and the history and the traditions and the culture and if you don't celebrate that and continue to make it a part of who you are and the world in which you exist, if you don't in effect bring those two worlds together and keep them in your mind and in your heart, then you become unwell. Oh.